I mean, we have night vision and it still looks blonde. This appears to be the best spot so far. We've had three bear in this one location, including a nice boar. Oh, make that four. Wait, why does that one look kind of blonde colored? I mean, we have night vision and it still looks blonde. That's definitely a rare. That's why. Oh my God, we got a rare. I don't know what you'd want to call it, but it's definitely a rare brown bear. All right, there he is. He's actually borderline gold potential as well. That's awesome. Man, that is cool. You know what? I want to turn this off. All right, guys, so this is really cool. What we have right here is a rare brown bear, and then we have a dark color brown bear, and then a cinnamon color brown bear. So we have two different color phases all in one right in front of us here. But this guy is definitely a rare. I don't know what you would call it. I'm still trying to figure that out. And I'm also trying to get a better angle for a shot. He's still slightly quartering towards us, and I don't like that angle that much. I don't mind this angle here. We might actually try and squeeze one in right in front of that front shoulder. I'm going to throw a two into him just in case. That should definitely bring him down. Yes, he's going down. All right, now let's get over here and try and find that big seven. There he goes. There he goes. 160 yards out. Oh my God, we smoked him. What a nice shot. What a nice, nice shot. He's going down right there, guys. Wow. But man, I just love how bright this color is on this bear. Like you can see it from so far away. You don't even need night vision to see this thing, you know? And there it is. There it is right here. As we approach it, let's take a look and find out what in the heck we got. Because frankly, I have no clue. All I know is it's pretty sweet. And to me, it kind of looks like it has a pink nose. It kind of looks like it definitely has a pink nose. Whoa! Dude, that is awesome! Look how bright that thing is. Bright white. It's going to be about as good as we can get for a picture. But we're going to pick it up. It's a rare albino brown bear. These are so cool. And our first shot definitely connected quite nicely. In fact, just barely missed the back of the heart at 200 yards out and got a nice left lung, followed by another shoulder blade lung shot and a 24.10 gold albino brown bear is down and going straight into our trophy lodge, guys. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. What the heck? What the actual heck did we just find? What the actual heck did we just find? That's a guaranteed gold potential, super rare albino Cape Buffalo. Oh, I am literally freaking out right now. We're on single player too. I've only ever seen one of these and it was on multiplayer. It was a six and we weren't able to get a gold out of it because it wasn't big enough to be a gold but i cannot believe we have a huge level seven guaranteed gold all by an okay buffalo oh <gasps> all right here we go so we're looking at 90 yards out 90 yards out guys as much as i want to get as close to these cape buffalo as possible we just cannot risk spooking these things oh my god there he is oh my god oh my god you guys look at this look at this he's 80 yards out coming right towards us oh my god Look at this. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes right there. He's 60 yards. And closing. He's going to be 50 right there. That's going to be 50 yards. 50 yards. What a perfect shot. Hit him right in the front shoulder. Oh my God, he smoked. He smoked. Watch him. Watch him. He's going down. He's down. He's down. Unbelievable. Look at the shot placement. Look at our arrow. That's right where the heart is. Just such an incredible turnout and an unbelievable, truly special rare Cape Buffalo that we just got. A huge level seven rare albino 
Kate Buffalo. It's going to be a 135 gold rare albino Kate Buffalo. We took him at 48 yards. Made an incredible double lung liver intestine shot with the recurve bow. Holy. I'm just absolutely stunned at the amount of emotions that just took place right there and how fast everything just happened. I've wanted one of these for so long. Ever since Call of the Wild first came out with Africa, I've wanted a rare gold albino cape buffalo. And we've never gotten one. We've gotten a nice size rare albino, but it wasn't big enough to be a gold. And I don't even think I made a good enough shot on him. I think we took him with the 300 Magnum and just, you know, probably hit him too many times or whatever it was. But we got ourselves a monster rare albino. A monster super rare albino because it made gold. Look at that thing. Well, I mean, after that, that's pretty much it. Yeah, we're going to be done hunting at this point. <laughs> I officially end the hunt at that. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. He's 50 yards out right there, 55 yards. If he gets five yards closer, we're gonna have a shot. Oh, 62 yards right there. Oh my God, it's so tempting. You know, if he calms down right there, we just might go for that shot. 62 yards, quartering directly away from us. We got a perfect angle. We definitely hit high. I couldn't tell how high. But we just absolutely dropped him at 63 yards away. All right, prong horner taking off. No freaking way. Oh my God, you guys, we did it. We did it. You absolutely have to be kidding me. That's a vital hit. Yes, he's a diamond. Oh my god, a 63 yard long and spawn shot! 102.3, that's our biggest diamond pronghorn antelope of all time. And we pulled up a 63 yard shot with open sights and the new recurve bow. <laughs> oh, that was such a risky shot. I mean, we did get a good chunk of lung though. It just actually, come to think of it, we got some pretty good lung and we just barely nicked the spine. <sighs> the shot was so far that our arrow actually leveled out, you know, because we're shooting upwards down from a tripod. So realistically, our arrow should be coming downwards. But because the shot was so far, our arrow pretty much planed out and hit almost directly horizontal into this pronghorn buck. Let's get him mounted. 63 yard lung shot with the recurve bow. There we have it. Our biggest diamond pronghorn of all time.
Here we go, here we go, here we go. We're basically gonna have to stop him right when he gets in this opening here, and I think what we're gonna have to do is use the collar. Otherwise, he's not gonna stop. I think we just smoked him. Yes, yes, yes. That's a vital hit. That's a vital hit, baby. Yes, we got him. Woo! He's laying right there. Second time is a charm. Second time is a charm. Yeah, I wasn't exactly sure where we hit. I saw we hit center body, but I did think that we definitely did connect on something good. Anyways, here he is right here. Take a look at this incredible rare white tail buck. It's a liver shot. It's gonna be a 181. And we pulled off a 35 yard liver shot. Actually hit pretty much dead center at 35 yards. And that is officially our biggest rare albino white tail buck. He weighed 180 pounds. What a fantastic looking rare albino white tail buck. Just absolutely incredible. As I said before, our biggest albino to date was a 162. And now we finally got a 180 plus white tail buck. Man, I couldn't be happier. And you betcha, we are definitely getting this thing mounted. All right, we got him. Woo! There he is right there, 50 yards, 50 yards. Now oh, we're gonna get two potential shots probably. Oh my God, I thought we had him. I thought we had him. I don't know how in the heck we didn't connect on that. Whoa! We're gonna take perfect, perfect. Gear mode, gear mode. Shoot, 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 pull back. Come on, pull back. Oh my God, we got him. We got him. What the heck did we just do? What the heck did we just get? Dude, that is one of the coolest Capricals that I've ever seen. What is it? Is the question. What is it? It's a rare leucistic gold. No freaking way. And we took him down with the recurve bow. What? <gasps> I mean, I knew he was special. I knew he was definitely something that we've never seen before. And he was probably a rare, but I wasn't 100% sure. Now we know this was a huge gold rare leucistic Western Capricile. I think that might be a guaranteed diamond. Albino axis deer. We gotta somehow slow him down. He is not interested. Okay, that's him. Good. We got his attention. That means he should come into the call. He's out there about 120 yards out, so he can definitely hear that call. Oh my god, you guys. He's coming in. Wait, 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 wait. Where's he going now? Where's he going now? I mean, there's a chance that he might still be coming in. But I can't quite tell what his plan is. All right, perfect. He's less than 60 yards away. That's a shot. That is a shot. If we can hold it right above that hind quarter, that's gonna be perfect. All we gotta do is get about 10 yards closer and not have a puma come in this area. That is what we have to do. Oh my God, you guys. We're less than 40 yards away from a super rare diamond. 
I'm comfortable with that shot right there. Okay, he's getting up, he's getting up, he's getting up. We should have ourselves a super rare diamond. And he's down! No freaking way! Oh my god! Oh my god, he's down. Let's get over here and take a look. What did we just do? It's a super rare diamond! A 222 diamond albino! Super rare access buck! And we took him down with a recurve bow! Oh god, I'm freaking out so bad right now. We got him mounted. He's a huge, super rare, diamond, albino access buck. We took him at 20 yards with the recurve bow right through that front shoulder and got a lung shot. Unbelievable. We've been hunting and call of the wild for over six years now and I've only ever seen one ultimate super rare animal which happened to be an albino black buck. An albino diamond black buck. And now we officially have our second super rare diamond in Call of the Wild. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, they're coming in. No way they're coming in. They're gonna walk right past us. And there he is, right there. Less than 100 yards away. You gotta be kidding me. All right, we gotta get to a spot where we can see, but yet still have full cover. And we gotta make sure that that doesn't happen right there. Okay, we can pull back and we can see. Perfect, that'll work, that'll work. There he is right there, oh my God. Holy, look at that thing. No way, he's coming right for us. Unbelievable. All right, this doe is coming right for us here. We're gonna tuck back a little bit further, just so we have some cover. Not sure why these deer already stopped. It should go a little bit further than that. But then again, it's kind of our fault where we didn't put the collar up far enough behind us. So they might all stop there, but I'll tell you what. Oh, we got a red deer back there. If this big buck comes closer and stops right here, we're gonna have a really good opportunity for a shot. A really good one. I mean, either way, he's already in range. We have the muzzleloader. He's 100 yards away right there. And he stopped right there. I mean, honestly, if our buck comes to right there, it's gonna be perfect. Oh, why is this doe coming so close to us? Why is this happening now? Oh, okay, he's stepping out, he's giving us a shot. We're gonna get ready and take the shot. He stopped out there, 100, oh my God, we don't have any bullets, we don't have any bullets, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Now we should have a bullet. And now our buck is turned away. Oh, come on. I mean, look at that rack. Holy. All right, he's turning broadside. Wait for him to stop. So moved him. Look at the size of that buck. And we hit him perfect right behind that front shoulder. Right behind that front shoulder. And now this giant dime potential muley we just took down with the muzzleloader. Look at the rack on that thing. And just in time as well, because now we got a puma coming over here to try and scare everything. But there he is. Oh, look at that. That is incredible. All right, let's take a picture. 
and let's pick them up. It's gonna be a diamond, a 320 giant diamond muley. We pulled off a 121 yard double lung shot. Holy is that thing huge. Let's take a look at that rack. Wow. I mean, look at how symmetrical, not necessarily symmetrical, but just how unique this buck is. He is very symmetrical um, with his main frame, but then he has like kickers over here. He has two kickers on his left side, and then he does have, okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something here. Oh my God, he's getting really close. He's getting really close. Oh my god, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes! Where is he, where is he, where is he, where is he? He's gotta be right there. No way, there he goes! We got him! We got him! We literally waited for him and just smoked him. Right when he came out of that brush. It's gonna be a gold. And that was actually a double lung liver shot at 20 yards away. 37.71 gray. Gold Puma with a 10 millimeter Glock. Wow. That was honestly pretty incredible. All right. Sorry about the interruption there. Let's get back to this buck here, but take a look at this. He's got kickers all over. He's just super, super wide. He's got tons of mass. He's honestly one incredible, incredible buck. Wow. So what I meant by he's very unique is he does have two, well, kind of a, yeah, he does have two stickers on this side, but they're off his, his fork, right? And on this side, they're kind of curved off to the right. I don't know. He's kind of symmetrical, but kind of not. I don't know if you call him a typical. So we're going to put our super air in here. Take a look at this. There he is right there. Our 222 rare, super rare diamond albino axis buck. We got him next to this rare albino grizzly as well. But this is a super rare. All right. So there he is right there. He looks absolutely unbelievable. Now we gotta find a spot for our huge diamond muley buck that we got today. And I think we'll put him right here. All right, there we go. Look at the size of that thing. Holy. I really wanna put him in uh, our other trophy lodge where we have a bunch of diamond muleys just to be able to kind of compare them. So I think we might actually do that. All right. And that would have to be in this lodge. Look, these are all diamond muleys here. And this rack is one of our big rack diamonds, I believe, 340s, 325. Okay, so it's not quite as big as I thought. These two racks are almost the same. That's the OG diamond rack, the OG diamond rack. Now this, is I believe the same rack buck that we just got. I believe so. Yeah, but anyways, these right here are the original um, rack bucks of the one that we got today. See where it's broken? The tine right there, the G2 is all like bent in and broken. That was the original rack. Well, technically that was the second rack. The original one was a super, super ugly, non-typical looking rack, which it was very unique, but it was just not good to look at so then we have this guy here that's our super wide brow tie touching one and the og one now we're gonna put up we'll put our newest buck right here so we can kind of compare a few of these bucks together these two bucks are exactly the same aside from the fact that this is the old version and this is the new version what a heck of a buck all right, anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.